In this tutorial, we will discuss Enable Grid, Increase and Decrease Grid Size, and Snap to Grid tools. We first mention grid lines in the overview tutorial. It may be hard to see, but our quilt area is currently cross-sectioned by a grid composed of intersecting vertical and horizontal lines that form grid boxes. The grid is used to help you accurately position elements of your quilt pattern. It can be activated and deactivated using Enable Grid located in the top toolbar. Notice how the icon appears like a depressed button. This indicates that it is currently active. Clicking this icon will deactivate or activate the grid. Note that deactivating the grid disables Snap to Grid, a feature we will discuss shortly. We'll leave the grid active for now. The grid is a very useful tool for resizing elements of your pattern. Using increase and decrease grid size, you can adjust the intervals between the grid lines by using the plus and minus icons in the top toolbar. You can also use the up and down arrows located here. Or just type it in. We'll change this to 12 inches. Snap to Grid is a very useful feature for accurately and quickly positioning quilt pattern elements. With Snap to Grid enabled, whenever elements of the quilt pattern are moved around, the top left corner of the element will snap to the intersections of the grid. Let's give you an example of that here. Also, Resized shapes will snap to the edges of the grid box in which they are located. So an example of resizing a shape would be to click on one of the yellow boxes and drag it. It snaps to the grid lines of my grid boxes. To deactivate or reactivate Snap to Grid, click the Snap to Grid icon in the top toolbar. When Snap to Grid is deactivated, you can still see and use grid lines to help position pattern elements, but your shapes will not snap to them. We've now covered how to use the grid features in Quilt Manager. In the next tutorial, we'll cover the zoom features of Quilt Manager.